Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to Summertime Tarot. For those of you who don't know, my name is Summer. If you're new here, I wanna start off by welcoming you to the channel. Hopefully, you know, this video will resonate and you will find something helpful here. If you do, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel so that you see more videos like this one. And if you've been here before, I'd like to thank you guys so much for, you know, subscribing, liking the videos, comment, commenting, all that good stuff. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for rocking with me. You feel me? <laughs> um, but this is an August 2020 reading for the water sign. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay. So this month I'm doing, you know, the elements together, right? Try something a little different. I mean, I've done it before, but I want to see how you guys like it so if you could you know let me know down in the comments whether or not you like me doing the monthly readings um with all the you know science the elements together or do you prefer it with you know individual readings for each zodiac sign whatever what have you just let me know also you know if you feel so inclined let me know down in the comments what other you know videos readings you would like to see here on the channel okay because i'd like to hear from you guys about that okay but let's go ahead and get started i'm just gonna shuffle these cards a little bit we're gonna start off with the reading okay and we are gonna do look at that lovers we are gonna do a little um love reading as well just to see what's going on in your love life okay so well, let me shuffle these cards a little bit so we can see what's going on get started let's see what's going on with the water signs Pisces Cancer Scorpio August 2020 So we have here enjoyment striving and pushing makes life into endless hard work the more you're inviting love to take over the more enjoyment comes allow me to enjoy this life dear lord okay and then on the bottom of the deck we have confidence divine confidence is completely different from the bravado of the ego you make space for something larger to hold you make space for something larger to take hold please fill me with your confidence oh lord Oh, love. <laughs> Grant me courage. I never knew I had. Okay. So it looks like, you know, some of you are in a space where you're working on, I feel like, building up your confidence to the point where you feel comfortable um, putting yourself out there. And, like, really, I feel maximizing your, your gifts, maximizing on life, right? And just trying to find the space within yourself right kind of almost almost like trying to find your calling trying to find what makes you feel good within so that can like kind of propel you forward that's kind of what i'm picking up here but i feel with the enjoyment here it's like a need to kind of 
stop trying to push or force your way forward or trying to push your idea of what you think things should look like or how you think you should be and just kind of allowing yourself the space to be where you are and enjoy the process of getting to know yourself if that makes sense but let's see what energy is headed your way for coming into you in august so let's see So we have here the world, the thinking woman, door to spirit, appreciation, and happy family. And on the bottom of the deck, we have six chakra, archangel Metatron. Yeah, so I, I totally feel like with this world here, you know, a lot of you guys are in a space where you're moving from one one space in your life, one cycle, right? You're ending one cycle, you're closing out some things and trying to move into something better for yourself. I do feel with this door to spirit, you are kind of in a space where you're focused on um, your like higher learning. It could be higher learning. So you could be focusing on maybe going back to school or really getting connected with spirituality kind of exploring your options in that arena trying to improve you know just your frame of thought how you see yourself how you see the world right trying to come at it from a higher vantage point and I feel with this appreciation card being here it's like a need in the month of August to really Focus on where you are now, right? Because I feel like you may be in a space, like I was saying, where you really want to kind of maybe, you know, put yourself out there to start something new, to really just improve your life really is kind of what I'm picking up on, right? You have this vision here with the sixth chakra. You have this idea of what you want your life to look like. And you have an idea of where it is you're trying to go, what it is you're trying to become right but it may be here that you're really so much focused on the outcome focused on where it is you're trying to get to that you're missing out on all the good things around you right you're missing out on all all the signs all the messages all the blessings that are present in your life but i feel like with this thinking woman here yeah you may be very much caught up in your own head in your own mind right trying to the word that's coming to my mind is catalyze kind of trying to jump start maybe you know a new project this just this, this new space that you're in but i feel like it's kind of time for you to really focus on like just enjoying yourself being happy appreciating where you are how far you've come thus far okay so let's see how you can ground this energy in the month of august Oops, oops, okay, so what wanted to fall? Let's see. Jeez. So we have metal vulnerability. So, you know, there may be a need for you to really get out in nature, to really connect with. I feel like you, with, you know, this being vulnerability, I feel like it's a need to kind of let your guard down and to kind of connect with the, the mm, connect with the divine where you are at this current space right now let's just keep that out what's on the bottom of the deck so we have stone people vigilance Vi mm, vigilance woo <sighs> getting tongue tied today but <clears throat> i feel like yeah there's a need for you to kind of yeah like let your guard down and to 
really tap into where you are now right because i feel like you may be getting so much ahead of yourself that it may be overwhelming you in a way to the point where you feel like uh like how am i going to get how am i going to get to where it is i want to go how am i going to make this happen right and with the stone people here it's like a need to kind of just be where you are <laughs> i want to be where you are uh oh right it's kind of like needing to really just be present where you are and to enjoy this space this moment where you are and that's when things are going to start picking up for you because i feel like with the stone people here it's like i feel like the divine your ancestors they're kind con- mm, they're trying to make contact with you they're trying to connect with you and you could also be in a space where you're, you know, you want you want to connect with the divine, with your ancestors. You're really focused on like improving your spirituality, trying to, you know, do those kinds of things. And I feel like it's kind of a block that's up because you're not being present here. You're kind of just focusing on where it is you want to go, focusing on your idea of what things are supposed to look like. And it's kind of blocking you from kind of seeing everything around you currently right all the signs all the messages all the blessings okay well let's see what the message here is for the water signs So we have the Ace of Cups, Three of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, and on the bottom of the deck we have the Three of Pentacles. I feel like with this, um, yeah, it's like you're, you may be focusing here with the seven of pentacles on all the things that aren't working, right? You could be, I'm getting the image of someone like in water. <laughs> I don't know why I said water like that, but I'm getting the image of someone in water and they're like, searching 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 trying to like find something you know how like it's like a frantic a frantic energy and i feel like it's like you're you're shifting the water around you if that makes sense i'm hope i hope this makes sense it's like you're shifting the water you're kind of <laughs> i can't get it out it's like you're shaking things up around you to the point where it's hard for you to actually get what it is that you want to actually right because what is the image in my mind is almost like someone who's trying to fish and they're trying to get this fish but they're like shifting all around to the point where they can't they can't see they can't feel they can't you know sense where this thing is that it is that they want which is making it kind of harder for them to get to where it is they want to get what it is they want and i feel it's like you may be um inadvertently or like to the point where you 
almost don't realize how your kind of frantic energy or your strong to desire to get to this this space to get to this awakening or this awareness of yourself and of the things that you want that is kind of making it hard for you to connect to that very thing if that makes sense like you're almost blocking yourself Right, and I don't feel like it's on purpose, right? I feel like it's in in the desire, in the, in the hopes of getting there, possibly, you know, quicker or just almost like you're afraid that if, you know, you don't get this thing right here, right now, that it's never going to work out or that you're just going to be stuck, you know what I mean? And so it's kind of a time in the month of August for you to really, I feel, just kind of sit, to sit with yourself, to sit in the space that you're currently in and to allow things to come to you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But I want to clarify. Let's clarify the page of wands. The lovers keeps wanting to show itself. So I kind of feel like, yeah, it's like a, a big need for you to connect with yourself. And your current space. Let's see. Page of wands. Why is the page of wands here? We have the Page of Cups, the Hermit, and the Six of Pentacles. In the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords again. judgment card wanted to come out with the um, three of swords from the bottom of the deck Yeah, I feel like it's with this page of cups and this hermit, it's like a de a desire to move forward, right? But I feel you with the six of pentacles, you want to give your energy to something, right? And it seems like with this door to spirit, it could be to do with your own um, mental, so an idea or right and then we do have the three of pentacles it could be to do with work some kind of project maybe but I kind of feel like it has to do with improving yourself right to do with knowledge advancing yourself in some kind of way 
But I feel like you're at a spot where this frantic energy is coming in because you don't completely know or you you know that you in order to get what you want you have to give your energy but you are in a space where you don't know what you're supposed to be giving that energy to how you're supposed to be giving that energy right and i feel you're trying to figure out what it is that you're supposed to be doing right and with this three of swords Although in this judgment, although you know it's kind of time for you to kind of move forward, to progress, to move from one space into another, you're kind of shutting down or getting very like restless or what's the word? nervous right or or like just like kind of frantic like needing or wanting to, to to move to do things because you you haven't completely figured out how okay and i feel like in order to get out of this energy it's going to take you kind of just sitting with yourself and sitting with where you are and kind of processing how you're feeling processing what's going on processing what you want and allowing things to come to you allowing ideas allowing things to kind of start lining up right and i feel like it's a need for you to just get into a space where you're just right enjoyment where you're enjoying yourself i feel like you know sometimes we can we can kind of get so caught up in needing to move and needing to progress needing to you know be better do better that we forget to kind of just sit down and to have peace and to allow things to kind of open up for us because we're so used to kind of pushing, pushing, pushing. And I feel like in the month of August, it's going to be a time for you, right? It's going to be important for you to kind of just sit and be present and to acknowledge your feelings, to, to acknowledge your fears, right? And to acknowledge the fact that, hey, I do want something better. I don't completely know where it is I'm trying to go, what it is that I want. But I know that, you know, I'm going to figure it out. That's that's kind of what I'm getting here. But let's do a little love, a little love reading. Let's see what's going on with you guys in the love department. So what's going on with the water signs? Let me get this up. In the month of August, it comes to romantic love. Well things are shooting out Excuse me. So bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords. So we have here, Page of Pentacles, Five of Cups, the Devil, Queen of Wands, Seven of Cups, Page of Swords in reverse, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So it looks like some of you may have been in a space, right? We do have this, this Queen of Swords energy, right? Because I do... I do kind of associate the thinking woman with the queen of swords. So it looks like you're kind of maybe in your head a lot in the month of, um, what is it? August. <laughs> I couldn't <laughs> think, but uh, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> ah. But yeah, but I kind of get the feeling the month of August is going to be a time where you really, I feel, start to 
your awareness starts to kind of grow is kind of what I'm getting, right? I feel like you may have been focused on one thing or another in the past months, but I kind of feel like August is going to be a time where you kind of start seeing the bigger picture. You kind of start changing, changing your tune is kind of what's coming to my mind, right? And I feel like in the love department, you may have been in a space where you were, you were wanting to give your love, your energy to something that may not have worked out the way that you wanted it to, or I kind of feel like it might have been with this devil here. It could have been something toxic or it could have been, it could have been just lust, you know, <laughs> it could have been that where you thought, hmm, maybe this, this will turn into something else, turn into something bigger, but I kind of get the feeling you may in August be like, hmm, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think this is what I want anymore. So, you know, for the people in a relationship, it could be, you know, you're kind of like mm, trying to feel things out, right? With this wheel of fortune in reverse. Yeah, I kind of do kind of feel things have come to like a halt for you in some aspect or another in your love life where things were kind of moving and progressing. But I kind of feel like it's almost like retracting your energy for, from something and and turning your attention to other options right that's for somebody but let's close this off let's get some advice for you for the month so what's the advice here for the water signs for august 2020 Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Thank you. So we have Mountain Goat. It reads, there's something out of balance in your life, so do whatever you need to do to correct it. And on the bottom of the deck, we have here the Cheetah. Get clear on your intentions, stay focused, and move quickly to achieve your goals. Okay, but let's read. I want to read from the book for the, for the Mountain Goat. So let's see. So mountain goat, you've been feeling unsteady, shaky, or out of sorts lately because there's an imbalance in your life. To bring back balance, start with an appraisal of your physical health. Get an exam from a reputable doctor who practices integrative, I don't know if I said that right, medicine, sometimes, call, sometimes called a holistic physician. There's no need to be alarmed, but if there's something identifiable in your body's biochemistry that's off and can be easily corrected, you'll benefit from such an analysis. Be sure to exercise every day, eat nutritionally sound foods, prefer, preferably organic, and get plenty of rest. Then take some time to continue your assessment by checking out other areas of your life, such as the polarities of work, play, social solitude, giving, receiving, and any others that occur to you. It's unrealistic to expect your life to stay completely in balance at all times as it's a continuous interplay between the various polarities. Even the seasonal adjustments of light and dark slowly and gradually shift in a ceaseless dance. Notice how you feel when something is out of balance and then take the necessary steps to adjust in ways that provide greater equilibrium. Okay? Yeah, I feel like with this mountain goal, it is time for you to kind of reassess, right? With this queen of swords, thinking woman, it's time for you to kind of spend some time thinking about what it is you need to do in order to get to shake back kind of thing, to get to where it is that you want to be. But that doesn't mean that you kind of spend a lot of time like nitpicking or obsessing over how things aren't going the way that you want them to. It's kind of just sitting back, taking note. What is it that I need to change? What is it that I need to improve, right? What's out of balance? What's working for me? What's not, right? And kind of just spend some time feeling that out for yourself, right? Because then that's when you'll be able to move in the way that you want to because you'll feel that you know what it is that you're doing. 
and that you, you know, have some idea of what, where it is you're trying to go and what it is you need to do in order to make it work, right? But that's all I have for you, Water Signs. I hope this reading helped you in some way. Don't forget to let me know down in the comments how it resonated. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I truly appreciate you and I hope to see you soon. Peace out.